So I'm always looking for the best tools for whatever job I'm doing. Time to retire these things. Maybe. On this channel, you know, I always like the best of whatever it is. I want the, the best batteries. I want the best tools. I want the best goggles, the best controller, the, the, just the best everything. Because I kind of live by buy nice or buy twice. Because anything I buy cheap, you usually end up buying something to replace it because it breaks or it's just horrible or whatever. Enter this little guy. You've seen me use it in my videos. It's what's called Helping Hands. It was $7 and it performs like it's $7. So I've been using it reluctantly. I mean, it works. It's not the best. I always tell you it's not the best, but I think I found something better. So full disclosure, I reached out to Quad Hands and they mailed me this product to test and review. I was not paid by them, so my opinion is my opinion. It stays that. If the product is good, great. If it's not, you guys will be the first ones to know. Uh, I've done my research on it though, and I, I think we're all going to be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> So meet the quad hands workbench. So this plate is six inches by nine inches. It's a piece of steel plate and this thing is heavy. While I was filming the B-roll, this thing just stuck to the table. There was nothing I did with it where it would move. So I have no doubts whatsoever that during your soldering, this thing is gonna stay still. This is 2.8 pounds. This thing's this got some heft. It's uh, looks like 3 16 inch thick steel plate. So well made. So this comes with four arms. Comes with two that are eight inches. If you can see that. It also comes with two that are 16 inch. And, and I understand I got a hole in my hand right here, so this hurts, but I mean, this thing is like, watch. It's a pretty strong magnet. This has got a plastic bottom and a really, really strong magnet in there. I can only assume it's a neodymium rare earth magnet. Uh, what I like about these is these unscrew, leaving you a, a 1 8 inch threaded rod that is also adjustable. So if you have something that doesn't quite have the threading, you can adjust this knob up and tighten it down uh, without having to put it the half inch deep into whatever you're going to add to it. So that's kind of cool if you wanted to add like a camera to it, if you wanted to add maybe, I think they even sell a uh, magnifying glass setup or something. So it's uh, that that's kind of cool. The other thing that I like is the alligator clip. They open wide. So they come with a silicone, looks like a silicone tubing that you can just slip on and off, uh, making it safe to grip parts. And if I take, let me try to do this over here where you can see it. This is uh, your standard 35 amp ESC. And you could just grab onto it, no problem. So anyway, let's do that with the longer one. So I got the, the 18 inch here and clamp that on there and I'm gonna hold the ESC and as you can see, I mean, here's both my hands, here's the bottom. This is clearly, as you can see, holding on by the ESC only. So these things definitely, definitely have some grip to them. I like that they're removable and uh, these things, they also, also bend up pretty good. I was screwing around with them a little earlier and I could do really two full loops. Yeah, here we go. Two full loops. Now they're not gonna they're not gonna stay two full loops, but just the mere fact that I mean this thing can grab you know six inches from itself. Um that's 
that's fairly handy. If you needed to get closer, you could, uh, you know, just pull one of these. So it's uh, very flexible. It stays, it stays put. These things, if as you saw from my measuring, just just listen to that. That's got some serious grip to it. That magnet is not screwed around. There's again 2.8 pounds and magnets. How do they work? So anyway, it comes with four of these, and you can place them how you like. So just to give you an idea, you can take this and place it wherever you want and it's it's gonna hold and allow you to do your soldering um, there is there is some flex in it but it's actually not not too bad I can I can kind of hold my hand steady on it and it doesn't really move if you use two arms to hold your part this thing is this thing is not going anywhere I am I'm pushing on it pretty hard and it will it will move but it's uh, when you're soldering little wires and whatnot, it definitely will work. And then if you got, if you wanted to hold your solder or something like that, you can peel this guy down and hold your solder or whatever with him. I mean, it's, this is cool. This is cool. I, I am definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this. You guys are gonna see a lot more of this in the upcoming videos. So if you haven't uh, run out and purchased this already, definitely take a look into it it's it's well worth the money that they're they're asking for it it's made in the USA and it's way 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 better than the helping hands that I have been using so you will be seeing this a lot more in the upcoming build videos that I do and uh, I will likely find other uses for it too so definitely check these guys out quad hands and I will put a link in the description below. You can you can check them out. It's just I can't believe how heavy this thing is. It just this is this is heavy. This is yeah yeah. Try doing this with your helping hands. You can do like shoulder presses or something with this. So if you found this video helpful, click that thumbs up button and just punch that subscribe button because you only get to do it once. And it's fun. And I'll catch you later. Peace.